says I know more than you. So if you're smart enough, fast enough, and if you've got the guts, you can win Ben Stein's money. You take your mambo, I, your rumba, I, your samba, I, I, I. <laughs> Tell me, who's hot? Who's hot? Who's hot? Uh, I'm Ben Stein, and tonight I'm coming out and putting $5,000 in my mouth. Wait a minute. I'm putting $5,000 in my mouth. $500 of my money on the line. 5,000, giving these three totally strange strangers a chance to win it all the way from me if they've got the balls. Now, before we go any further, it's time to introduce the, introduce the pup to my daddy, the one and only Jimmy Kimmel. Thank you, Ben. What are you, stupid? Let, let it stay at $500, you know? Okay, it's $500. But I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, hey, I'll tell you what, I'll get you an incredibly good deal on a big screen TV. Okay. There you go. Plus, uh, get you a box of steaks and uh, some nylons and some yeah. tires. Uh, good stuff. All right. okay. You're not trying to lure hookers, Ben. These oh. are contestants. Um, oh, okay. Christopher yeah. McGrath is a lawyer. And um, Christopher, you worked in Italy as a lawyer for 10 months? Actually, Germany, but what's the difference? Italy, oh, really? They're, they're all in Europe. They have law there? They do. It, it's more marketplace bargaining, but sometimes they resort to law. So what, you're just out buying trinkets, really? Or, well, I had to make it true. Okay, and uh, Lisa Brownstein is an actor and comedian. Mm -hmm. Wait, well, uh, I went to college with a guy named Neil Brownstein who's become incredibly, unbelievably rich. Are you related to him? Not that I know of, but if I am, I'd like to find out. Thank and you. Bob Charles is an orchestra conductor. That's right, I conduct the Valley Symphony Orchestra. That's an interesting job. Mm -hmm. it, is, the, um, is the conductor really necessary in the orchestra? Because if you were working like a construction job and just pointing a little stick at the guys or where to dig and stuff, they kick your ass. I... Actually, they kick my ass every night. They do. All right. I point a big stick at them. Good luck. You're going to need it. Now, everyone, please turn your attention to our game board as Jimmy tells us our first five topics. And they are. Kindly keep your dickens out of my eggnog. <laughs> Things flatter than roadkill. <laughs> Smelling salt and pepper. If you're seasick, grab a barge bag and son of a ditch. <laughs> All right, contestants, in the first round, questions are worth anywhere from $50 to $150 of my money. Now, every time you manage to answer a question correctly, you win money and I lose it. We're going to start with you, Attorney Christopher. Please pick a topic. I will take son of a ditch. $150 question, built from 1904 to 1914 at a cost of about $350 million. What country paid for the Panama Canal, also referred to as the Big Ditch? Bob? United States. Yes, indeed. <laughs> we bought it, we paid it, and now we're giving it back. Now, Bob, that means you get first crack at a follow-up for $50. The Panama Canal has many water-filled chambers that raise and lower ships. Ships. <laughs> By what name are these chambers commonly known? Locks. Locks, indeed. Come to Papadopoulos and Bobby. I'll try kindly keep your Dickens out of my eggnog. Fifty dollar question. In Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol, what jolly ghost of Christmas first appears among the decorations and foods of the holiday? Christopher? Uh, the ghost of Christmas past. No. Bob? The ghost of Christmas future. No. I think Lisa's got a shot here. Lisa? The ghost of Christmas present? Yes! <laughs> yeah. $50 follow-up. $50 follow-up. Which, which ghost of Christmas appeared as a spirit shrouded in black with only one hand visible? The ghost of Christmas past? No. Oh. Bob? The ghost of Christmas future? Yes. It's actually <laughs> the ghost of Christmas yet to come, but that's close enough. Nowering down went on there. Our next category is Stand by your manet and bond your shoes up. 
I'll take Stand By Your Manet. Hundred dollar question, painter Edouard Manet is said to have inspired what 19th century style of art? Yes, Bob? Impressionism. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. $50 follow-up. What famous author and founder of the naturalist movement championed the art of Manet in the French newspaper Figaro? Um, shh. Okay. Okay. I'm afraid you're a bit late, but that isn't right anyway. <laughs> Chris or Lisa? Emil Zola. Emil Zola. Now, before I lose any more cash, it's time to take a break. We'll be back to see how much more money these hoes can take away from me right after this. There's more of win my Ben Stein's money right now. Bob is in the lead with $350 of my money. Jimmy, what's the new topic? Our new topic is, after Bill got the job with the florist, they called him Sweet William. Bob, you had the last correct answer, so you get to pick first. Let's see what come to Papadopoulos is like. Hmm, $50 question. On August 19, 1973, George Papadopoulos was sworn in as the first president of what country? Bob? Greece. Greece, indeed. $50 follow-up. What form of government was abolished in Greece in 1973 when the Greek Council of Ministers proclaimed a republic? Democracy? No, I'm sorry. Christopher? Dictatorship. No. Lisa's playing it safe. Monarchy, monarchy, monarchy. Lisa, you better start being funny or something. <laughs> yeah, where, where is the joke, Lisa? Christopher, oh. I don't know. You're about 12 years old, I think. I question whether you really are a lawyer at all. Are you a lawyer? <laughs> well, I play one on TV. All right. Okay. The next category is? That's better. <laughs> That guy's a real knot job. And, uh, Bob. We'll try that one. That guy's a real knot job. Hundred dollar question. According to legend, what Macedonian cut the Gordian knot with his sword and went on to rule the ancient world? Bob. Alexander the Great. Yes, indeed. <laughs> this one's a little tougher. $50 follow-up. What popular knot-tying art is employed in the creation of decorative wall hangings? Macrame. Ooh, very sharp. Oh, very sharp. who doesn't love the macrame? We have less than two minutes left in this round. You two get to work. Our next category is the newlywed game, and Bob gets to pick again. I'll try if you're seasick. Grab a barge bag. $100 question. In 1987, the infamous garbage barge set sail from, and ultimately returned to, what U.S. city? Bob. New York. <sighs> Can't you two think of any damn thing to say? I saw Christopher. Uh, <laughs> yes, New York. Yes, Christopher New York. made the fun most. $50 follow-up. What term describes a solid waste disposal site in which refuse is buried between layers of dirt? Uh, no idea, no idea. Chris? Toxic waste dump? No. <laughs> that's, that's law school. <laughs> <laughs> no, sanitary landfill, sanitary landfill. All right, our next category is... I cringed when my pick got stuck in my zither and bomb again. Now, uh, being a musician, I'll have to see what that one's like. I cringed when my pick, etc. $150 question. Similar to a zither, but with automatic chord bars, what musical instrument strummed with a pick is often used in elementary schools? Bob. An again. auto harp. Yes. Can, can you two... All right, that's enough of it. At the end of the first round, Bob, you've got $800 of Ben's money. Lisa, you've taken $50 away from Ben. You don't deserve to stay, but you're staying, and maybe we should just clear Lisa and Christopher out this round, Ben. I think different. it's going to take <laughs> Ben Stein to stop you, Bob. Anyway, Attorney Christopher, you've only managed to take zero dollars away from me, and that means we have to say goodbye. I'm sorry. I'm going to take this money, and I'm going to underhand pitch it back up there. Zero, so it doesn't make any difference. That was a certain trick. Now, when we come back... These two survivors are going to try to get deeper into my wallet. I'm going to defend my money by actually becoming a contestant. Stay tuned.